What's going on guys, it's W here. In this video, I wanna talk about my experience working two jobs, 70, 80 hours a week. And uh, whilst we're talking about it, diving into the good and the bad, I'll have some gameplay of some Call of Duty in the background. So let's get it. So I wanna talk about my experiences working two jobs, which is about 70, 80 hours per week. Now first, let me preface this with an important fact. As a man, you should be working as many hours as you can if you're struggling in any way financially. As a young man, you should have unlimited energy, especially if you're not where you wanna be. Let's start off with my personal experiences with working two jobs at the same time. My schedule looks something like this. Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, I work my main job from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., 12 hour days. Then also on Monday, I would work my other job from 7 p.m. till 12.30 a.m. That's right, on Mondays, I'd be working around 17 and a half hours. Then from Tuesday to Friday, I would work my second job, and the hours would range from eight to 12 hours on a random schedule. So I would average about 65 to 70 hours Hours, and my all-time high is about 87 and a half hours in one week, which was brutal. I was also keeping up with my gym routine as well, around four times a week for about 45 minutes to an hour per session. Here's what I learned from my experiences working two jobs, starting with the downsides first. Most people are lazy, and because of this, when people find out you're working two jobs, they will think you're crazy and say things like, I don't know how you do it. The average person just doesn't understand that type of work ethic. I also learned that this laziness also translates into the workplace as well, where tasks will fall on me because other employees know that I will get it done. If an employer finds a good workhorse, they'll work that horse to death. From what I've experienced, it takes about one to one and a half months until it becomes relatively easy, meaning that you're in the routine. You'll have your bad days here and there, but for the most part, it just becomes your new normal. Psychologically, it can be difficult to take time off when you're working this much because working a lot almost becomes my identity. And when I wasn't working, it felt as if I was doing something wrong. You also sacrifice a lot of your free time to do the things that you enjoy. For me, that was riding motorcycles. And I pretty much worked most of my summer away. You have to have really good willpower to say no to the things that you might want to do, like going out with your friends, because you know you have to work again the next day. And so you prioritize things like sleep. Now, the upside to working this much is obviously the money. You're trading your time for guaranteed income so that you can save that income to buy yourself time to learn skills that can in turn make you more money than a traditional job. If you live off one of your income and save the other income, you're buying yourself some oh shit time. If you lose one income or something comes up because that's just life. Ultimately, working multiple jobs I think is a great way to help improve your immediate financial situation in the short term six months to like two years. I don't, however, think that this should be a permanent solution to your financial problems. I'll be honest, I hated working that much or at least the types of jobs that I was working. I do think that with some basic financial knowledge and some drive, getting a second job can be a great short-term tool to fast track yourself to setting up a good financial future. If you have too much free time, then raw action, like working a lot of hours, is better than doing nothing. If you guys like this type of video, then please leave a like and maybe share it to one of your boys who's slacking and leave a comment about any questions or concerns or constructive criticisms that you might have. Thanks for watching. W.